This channel's content is intended for people over the age of 13. If you are under that age, please leave now. Thank you. Just to let you know, there's a ton of swearing in this video, so listen up, beware. Well, folks, we've reached another, another day in COVID land. Another day in the disaster that is the human race. And another day, we've got another remake of a game that was, what, 20 years old? Last night, some lot of. Yeah. Anyway, this is the review of Resident Evil 3 Remake, available for PC, Xbox One, and PS4. Some things I'm going to be talking about tonight will be differences between this and the original. Is this better or worse than the original? That is a matter of opinion, but you'll find out what my opinion is very shortly when I decide to tell you, but just know the new. You'll find out through the course of this video, so you will. Anyway, I'm going to be stopping and starting this like a bastard because I can't remember my own birthday half the time. What did you have for your tea? Fuck knows. Uh, it kind of goes like that most days. I think the first major difference is how early Nemesis decides to fucking show up in this game. I remember the original, getting the original going right at another Resident Evil game. I didn't like Code Veronica because fuck respawning enemies every time you go out of a room. And you don't have respawning ammunition to go along with that. Fuck you, Code Veronica. Fuck you very much. Top your set of scene for you is right fucking. This is me, Craig's getting ready to play Resident Evil 3. Brilliant. Looks like Resident Evil 1.5, and that was what I was really looking forward to. When I got Resident Evil 2 and it wasn't Resident Evil 1.5, I was like, FUCK IS THIS SHITE! I still liked it anyway, but uh, maybe I will do it for a later time, no higher. Anyway, so I'm getting this game, got this game, fucking there's a big monster in the front of it, there's no protagonists in the front of it, it's just a big fucking grinning monster. I was like, YES! Load it in, your Jill again, who's... Looks like she's going out on a night out to a cocktail bar, but decides to wear a fucking boob tube top thingy, tight mini skirt, and doesn't even wear her fucking jumper, you know what I mean? In the middle of a zombie apocalypse that she knows is going on, and what I'll fucking do, I'll go out looking like a tart, you're a stars member and you've got fucking uniforms and all kinds of things, put a pair of jeans on, something a bit more functional, you daft batter. These things bite you, so you've got, you've got like, Half of your torso on show, fucking half of your legs are on show. What you doing? So they changed it for this game. They gave her a blue top, a shirt, hangy, and a pair of jeans. Much better. Much much better. Shows off her arsenal, which is quite nice. I do quite like that. <laughs> the thirst is fucking real, people. Anyway, so you're cutting about 1999 RE3, cutting about the tune, cutting about the fucking mean streets of Raccoon City. Zombies popping out of motors, that does happen, but anyway, zombies popping out of motors, fucking, it's like, it seems like a huge city, brilliant, fucking love it, you get this sort of feeling again with the, the, the new one, but it's not quite the same because Nemesis is in it right at the beginning, Nemesis doesn't show up until you reach the police station in the original, which I think they could have done that again, it's more of a, a, a remix, it's like Resident Evil 3's greatest hits, and they've just sort of removed, removed some of the bits of the game that I liked, like the they removed the park, the, the the big worm thing, that big, is it the, the body eater or the death job eater or, you know the big fucking worm thing that looks like something that tremors, that's gone, what, what, that's gone, and you no longer go at the raccoon playstation as Jill, you go as Carlos, which I'm fine, I'm fine with that, there's no, what else is missing, fucking just about nearly half the game I think, what else is missing, fucking, they've, they've removed the streets in some capacity, they've sort of, Toned that down. Remember the the petrol station where you show up and you do a wee puzzle and you open it and there's a zombie and you fuck that's gone as well. I was like, fuck it, it's in a cutscene, but it's no it's no the same, it's no it's not what I want it. What else has disappeared? That the train yard's gone because you're now in the underground station. Somehow the underground station now goes completely out the city, but I live in Glasgow, the, the circle the circle as I like to call it, I don't need to call it that, I just, it's a big fucking circle, right, it doesn't go anywhere but running about Glasgow, you kind of go outside the town in the subway, so I'm finding that a little fucking strange, considering that Raccoon City is about three or four times smaller than my home city, yeah, it's got a bigger fucking subway, don't get it, it doesn't make any sense, how are thousands, how are thousand capacity crowd in that city, my city's got about 500,000, yeah, it's bigger, mm. 
Maybe it's an American thing, who knows? Rambling on here. Clock tower's gone as well, fucking knows oh, you fucking master. Nemesis doesn't even kill Brad. You fucking what? Does he, I mean, Brad dies here, a shitey fucking zombie bite. Comes back acting like Bob for fucking Day of the Dead, going, oh, I think I dropped my keys. And the guy's like, You fucking what? Then bites him, you look. You fucking, you fucking what, mate? Fucking fuck, what the fuck, man? And then you blow his fucking brains up with Carlos with his fucking super machine gun shotgun thing. Fucking, and that Carlos is really crappy haircut. I mean, you know, his haircut was crappy in the original. It's ten times worse. He's a fucking mercenary and he's got fucking longer hair than Tina Turner. Some zombie just fuck, some soldier in a fucking war would just grab him and swing him about with his fucking hair, the big lassie. A fucking haircut, you smelly looking bastard. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked here, I'm getting ranty and sidetracked. I don't like this game, mate, it's just got a lot of problems. Namely being that half of Resident Evil 3's no fucking in it. There's no fucking mercenaries mode. Half the bosses are fucking gone. The fucking, uh oh. They've expanded some areas of which I find strange, like the hospital's bigger. Power station's a bit bigger. So like you've taken the bits that lasted nanoseconds in the original game and you've made them a little bit too long. You got a nice couple of boss fights with Nemesis. One does take place at the clock tower, but you only see the outside of it. Then that's over. This is where Joe gets fucking barbed by Nemi. So I like guess barbed by Nemi, then fucking like a day and a half later she gets finned by Carlos. But did I don't know how she survived, I think it was like half a day. I was like, surely by that point it'd be too late and the cure wouldn't fucking work. But, uh, what the fuck, what the fuck do I know? I've, I just feel they've rushed this, they've rushed this. I, I even think they rushed Resident Evil 2, because Scenario um, B is exactly the same as Scenario A for all intents and purposes. A couple of wee differences, but I mean, no really. Scenario B is really just for you to get all your super weapons. So it's like there is only one playthrough of Resident Evil 2. Just like there's only one playthrough of this. I or the, see a lot of the, the choices whether will I fight Nemesis or no. Obviously they're gonna have to tone that down because it's it's not the same game, it's it's a third person action shooter. So you can decide whether you want to fight him or not, and he still drops the fucking boxes with fucking parts if you do so wish to do that. So it's not like it's totally gone, it's just been sort of it's been changed to make more sense. See, I had a thought with a remake, and I'm going off by the original game's remake, that that, that was on, the whole game was intact, it was just, it was made more interesting looking, better graphics, things like that, more areas to the mansion, I didn't feel like I was missing out, I feel like I'm missing out with this. I mean, I've, <laughs> I've finished the game once, then I, I restarted it a few days later and decided to do a wee speed run, and it took me maybe three and a half hours to get to the PlayStation with Carlos. Just this second playthrough alone, it's taken me an hour. So you, and there's an achievement to finish the game in under two hours. Look, you could do that with other Resident Evils, I understand that. But that was a product of its time. The games were harder back then. They were also a bit more interesting, because the city bits just fucking fly by in an instant. And then there's a sewer section, so you tell me that you removed the fucking petrol station bit, you removed the clock tower bit, you fucking removed Brad getting done over by the nemesis at the start of the game, you fucking removed interesting bits along the way, you've, the lab looks really nice in this new one, enough. You've, you've totally missed out the park in favour of a fucking sewer section. Listen, if I ever play another game again, and hear me as I speak these fucking words, no more sewer sections please eh? Fucking well sick yet. Do you know what? No pun intended, but they all look shite. It's a fucking sewer! What more can you really do with a sewer other than poo everywhere and brick was? And dark as fuck. What is this? Doom 3? Even Doom 3 didn't have a fucking sewer! It was the darkest one right the way through, but that's really beside the point. Aye, so... Fuck it. <laughs> Man, I'm having to put these games in easy to play them now because they're like fucking Dark Souls, every bastard in one of them. Even Doom Eternal's guilty of this. We'll need to make it as hard as fuck! Why? Because we know it's as short as fuck, and Doom Eternal's not a short game, right? But you put it in... What is it? I'm too young to shite, or whatever, and you... Nah, whatever, who cares? But this, this, this game, it's, it's fun. It's a nice wee distraction. It's not a full... It doesn't feel like a full release. It feels like a half assed DLC. So that's what it probably should have been for Resident Evil 2. Or, at the very least, a digital-only release for, like, maybe, say, 15, 20 quid. I'd have been happy with that. Oh, it's not getting a physical release. Well, judging by what they've got in that disc, I don't think they really fucking need it. All the acting's better, though. All the characters are... 
well, most of them, ones that I know missed out, right? And if I can't remember if there's anybody really been missed out, I don't think so. Carlos, Mikhail, fucking, what's that other, what's that Russian bastard's name? Oh, the, the, oh fucking, can't remember his name! No, my kid. Fucking the bad guy, what's his fucking, what's his fucking name? It's fucking Nikolai, Nikolai, that jobby faced fuck. Who was a good guy in the second movie for some reason? They're all been well done. They're, they're brilliant. They fucking uh, I love the way they've been redone. They look great. They sound great. They're acted so much better. I love Jill's redesign. She's not wearing that stupid fucking going out on the randan type sort of look. You know, like fucking stupid bastard. I don't know how, the, the thing you'll finish the game right and you'll get a, oh you get a shop or a store um, for all our Yank friends. It's a store. Fuck you. It's a shop. You get a shop and you can buy things, you like you get your rocket launcher with infinite bullets and you can buy a lockpick and a fucking bolt cutter. I don't recommend buying any of those because you'll find them fairly quickly in the game and they'll, they'll fucking disappear as quickly as they came, I'll tell you that. And then you can buy like, another outfit and here's another issue that like, you can get Jill and Carlos' original outfit but it's pre-ordered, pre-ordered DLC only. No doubt that'll become paid or free at some point but it's like, that should have been an unlockable. You can get Jill's original Stars outfit for Resident Evil 1 as an unlockable. But then you consider what was in Resident Evil 3 OG back in 1999. There was about fucking 8 or 9 outfit. Well, why are they not uh, Why are they not back? I mean, she's had multiple outfits through her time in this fucking series. Yet they've only got the original one. I mean, it's nice that it's there, but it's like, what about her fucking Resident Evil 5 outfit? What about her fucking jeans in that outfit? What about her fucking sexy outfit for, for, for uh, Deadly Silence? What about... You know what I mean? Fuck's sake. Bit of effort. I mean, a fucking year. I mean, they said they had two teams working on this fucking game along alongside fucking Resident Evil 2. You should have had the one team working on both of these games. This shouldn't have been out by now. This should have been out in two, three years' time. But it's a full fucking... A full-fledged fucking thing. Um, I know I'm sounding dead negative, but I did enjoy it, but it's just, it's... Gone, you know what I mean? It's like, what the fuck was that? Oh, I don't know, it was Resident Evil 3. Fucking, is, is it a plane? Is it a bullet? Is it a jobby? No, it's fucking Resident Evil Bastard 3. Moves faster than a speeding bullet. Fucking hell, I've seen... Fuck's sake, this, this, this thing moves faster than a fucking nun's first curry. It's like a fucking curried bullet. Do you know what I mean? It's like, pff, done, you're like, I don't want to be done, you know what I mean? Plus, all the zombies have now got canned animations, which I'm finding quite distracting, and that actually looks quite amateurish. Like, oh, we've had to tone it down for the amount of zombies uh, on screen at once. The, the most you get fucking five or six. It's not that many, fuck's sake. All right, I was playing fucking Resident Evil 2 the other day, fighting two bastard liquors and three fucking zombies. How come that wasn't a problem for that? Get me handle that. And the liquors are fucking densely detailed creatures. Yeah, you've got five fucking zombies and it's all canned anime. Do you know what? It's nothing to do with fucking preservating the fucking engine or we don't want so much fucking pressure on this engine. It's you being lazy bastards. Shoving out a game that's not really done yet. I mean, Capcom, I thought you'd have fucking learned this lesson. If you're going to start this pish again, just start pumping out your games out to fucking Tom, every Tom, Dick and Bastard and Harry and we'll get, we'll get mere raccoon cities. I mean, Alright, it's nowhere near as bad as a fucking racket. say. The game is fun, but it's just when you notice these things and you're going to compare the two of them because they're so close together. You're going to compare Resident Evil 3 to Resident Evil 2 because they're so close together. You're just going to... And when you go, well, how come that game's better detailed? How come that game's pacing is better? Well, they missed shit out in Resident Evil 2, like that fucking train yard. I know it's not called that. It's got a stupid fucking name that I can't even remember. Alright! They missed that out. They fucking fucked up scenarios uh, B for both characters, or the other alternate routes. So it's so different, it's like, you fucking, uh, scenario B in Resident Evil 2 Remake, you just start with the PlayStation. So like, no, I remember fucking running through the city streets first. Why didn't they just make it the same as what it was before? Expand on it, I mean, Resident Evil Remake started the same, with them going by helicopter up to the Arkley Mountains, getting attacked by the Devil Dogs, and then entering the mansion. You didn't just fucking see them enter the mansion, or you didn't see them enter a different bit of the mansion. You didn't see them enter the car park. You didn't see fucking. You, you know what I mean? It was the same, the same beat for beat things. Or the differences came throughout the game. They should have kept it the same when you fucking ran through the streets. Maybe expanded that a little bit. Ran into the gun shop with Gendo. Watch Kendo Gendo Ben. I don't know his fucking name, right? It's a weird name, Kendo Kendo. That's that's his name. Doesn't he look Japanese. 
Okay, he looks American. Maybe he's American. I don't fucking know. He looks like a white guy to me. Call him Bobby, for fuck's sake. He used to run into his shop, get him, get fucking munched. He somehow got a Wayne that's died, you know. It's dark. It's fuck. it's not a good change. So, what would have been the problem with that? Oh, it's too much like the original. We're here because of the original. Ooh, you fucking idiots. So this is what you should have done with Resident Evil 3. You had Nemesis in at the very start, in the fucking intro. I was like, what the fuck? Battles as we into uh, Jill's fucking uh, flat apartment thing. Noakes fuck out her. She fucking flings herself through the through the, the hole in the wall that he's made. And then a chase in, in, ensues and it's like, oh, that's cool, but maybe that should have happened. Or maybe it just shouldn't have happened. I should say, and then you fucking get the PlayStation and this big fucking hulking great bastard jumps down, punches Brad in the fucking chops, busts his nose in his face, and then see rather than killing them there and then, maybe you should have impregnated him with with the virus, and then then they could turn and you could deal with him later on. Maybe when you're coming back out the PlayStation, I just I like I like remakes to hold the same beats as the original. This doesn't hold the same beats as the original. It is a remix. It is a greatest hits. If you're going to make a remake, you don't remove things. Just like the remake of Rod Dawn of the Dead that came out in 2004. That's not a remake. That's a fucking... That's basically a reimagining. And some people say this is a reimagining Resident Evil. I'm not going to go that far and say it's a reimagining because the things that are there did appear in the original, only in slightly different fashion, so it is more of a remix. It's more of a repaint and a retread and a slight rebuild, a wee, a wee bit of remodelling. But it's, um, it's disappointing, Capcom. Let me hear you. You hear me, I mean, sick. Disappointing. Should have been a lot more than what it was. And it was it, like, within a week of Final Fantasy VII remake, and that's just so much better. Even though folk are fucking moaning about that. This bit's only 45 hours long, so the bit in Midgar is, I believe, I didn't like the original Final Fantasy VII, I thought the game was shite. For a uh, turn based combat blows the fuck out of me and the random battles every time you walked down a fucking corridor pissed me off. That was that was it for me. Fuck off. Never played that shit again. If I can't see where my battles are coming from and they just randomly ram up my ass, no, I'm not into that. Especially when you can do the same bit and no hit another an enemy. Then you can get a fight, come out of it and go straight into another fight. No, fuck off. Shite, okay? So what was I saying? Oh I that's bit of the Fair Fighter Seven Part One. It doesn't even say part one, right? So it's maybe I, I don't fucking know, right? Maybe it's gonna be, I don't know. We'll see what happens later on down the line. But people are forty-five hours long. Well, this bit was a six-hour se section, six to eight-hour section of the game. They've turned into a forty-five-hour section. What the fuck's the problem with that? You moany face pricks. Shut up. Fucking play the game or don't. But don't moan when you're getting a long slice of good pie and it looks fucking smashing. By the way, Final Fantasy Remake really looks gorgeous. I'm not doing a review of that. Fuck you. So uh, I'm going to wrap this up now, I've been moaning and humping and fucking jumping and jobbing and skiving and diving for long enough. I think Resident Evil 3 is fun while it lasts, it doesn't last anywhere near long enough. The omission of a lot of places, the sort of glossing over of some characters' deaths, some of them even happening off screen, pissed me off no fucking end. Uh, I like the reimagining reimag re of Nemesis himself, I think he looks great in this, Jill looks great, everybody looks great, it's just... It's, it's a great tasting pie, but it's hollow, and it's it's empty, and I recommend, above anything else, you rent this game, or wait for it to drop down to about a tenner. Borders, mm. that might have cut it back in 1999, but I expect just a little bit more from our productions, and a little bit more length and girth, okay? Thank you all for watching, like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, subscribe, Bye!